Hey boys, it's Harm Nine. Today we're going to be customizing the BF Weevil in Grand Theft Auto Online, but of course it's not just any Weevil. We're making this thing into the Weevil Custom today. Now this is actually the second time I've recorded this video. The thing is, the other time I was on the wrong monitor output, so great. So I'm re-recording this. Weevil Custom, $980,000 for the upgrade, and it turns into this. We're starting off with the armor as usual, going all the way up on that. The brakes as well, we're going all the way up on those. For the bumpers, you do have front and rear bumper options. I think that what I want to go for is probably the same as the last customization I did of this thing, and that is the injection bull bar. I think this thing looks really good, so we'll do that. For the rear of the vehicle, we're going to go for the Baja rear cage. I will show you all the options here just really quickly. Um, there's basically the chrome versions and the black versions of the same thing, so that's cool. For the chassis, for the headlights, we do have a few different options here. Uh, we can tint the headlight glass, which is pretty cool. Um, so I think what I'm going to go for is the blue custom some fog lights these are pretty neat looking for the tail lights we do have quite a few different options as well um, i think that what i'm gonna go for is probably the bullet brake light glass i like the look of those so we'll do that for the engine all the way up obviously for the exhaust we do have quite a few different options here uh, there's some really unique ones some really weird ones which is kind of cool of course, we have the Mega Zoomies, which is insane. Um, I think that I like the wrapped blast pipes, though, so we're going to go for that. For the hood, we have a few different options here. Uh, there's quite a few that are like one and the same, sort of. Um, there's some little deflectors that we can put up. Um, there's also the horns on the side. We have the hood spikes, the hood studs, and the hood chains as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, we're going to go for the retro horns, I think. I like the look of that. For the hood itself, uh, we do have the option to add some more lights onto this thing, which I think is pretty cool. So we're going to go for the fog light hood because I think that looks pretty dope so we'll do that for the interior we can change the seats quite a bit uh, we have the world war ii bomber seats which is pretty cool the basic bucket seats lightweight racing seats the bare aluminum bucket seats the rat rod seats the muscle seats the barrel seats and the worn leather barrel seats i like the barrel seats i think those are really unique never seen that in any other car for the wheel i'm gonna go for the chain link number two that's usually what i go for in benny's car so we'll do that for the shifters uh we do have a few here i'm gonna go for the eight ball but we do have quite a few i think these ones are halloween the uh these these four right here um, so they are kind of cool, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna just go for the eight ball like usual. The doors I do have uh, I do have a few things that I can do to it here. I like the beater door panels myself, so we're gonna go for those. For the light color, I'm gonna go for something bright. I think that I want to go for maybe maybe diamond blue. Diamond blue is pretty easy to see, so I like that. For the roll cage, of course, we can add several different ones into this thing. It is somewhat of a rat rod, so I'm gonna go for a full cage um, because I think it looks pretty cool. So we'll do that. For the headlights, we are, of course, going to go Xenon. For the livery, we do have quite a few different options here, as you guys can see. Um, I'm not sure what I actually want to go for here. Um, I think that what we're going to end up going for is probably the Forgotten Racer. I do like the look of that, so we'll do that. Uh, for the mirrors, we do have a lot of different options here as well. I kind of like these touring mirrors. I saw these before when I customized it. They look pretty cool in my opinion, so we're going to go for those. Rat Rod mirrors, of course, we can add those too, but I, I think that I like the touring mirrors the best, so we'll do that. For the hood ornaments, these are really cool. Uh, I don't think that we have these on many other cars in the game. Um, they're really sick looking. I'm going to go for the Reaper hood mount. I think it's pretty cool, pretty unique, so we'll do that. Um, there's quite a few here, though. For the plate, we are going to go yellow and black, as usual. For the respray of the vehicle, I think that I'm going to go for a black, uh, because unfortunately with the respray on uh, on these like rust deliveries, it really only looks good in like black or like white, in my opinion. Uh, we could go for something a little different, maybe. Maybe we'll go for maybe we'll go for a blue actually. Maybe we'll go for hmm. You know what? Actually, let's go for ultra blue. I like the look of that. Let's uh, let's do ultra blue. Let's uh, let's change it up a little bit. Go ultra blue for the secondary as well. We're gonna have to change those rims though, because those uh, that's a that's a little too much blue. We'll go black for the trim color as well on the inside. For the roof, we do have a few different options that we can add onto this car right now. Um, what? What do we want to go for? Ooh, yeah, the off-road rack looks pretty dope. We're going to go for that. Uh, for the skirts, we have quite a few different options as well here. Oh, the off-road kit. We're going for the off-road kit. That looks pretty awesome. I like the look of that, so we'll do that. Sun strips. We do have a few unique sun strips for this car as well. This is pretty cool. We got the retro sun visor here. I do like the look of that a lot. We also got the headlight, like the glass colors, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, 
I think that I'm going to go for the retro sun visor. I like the look of that a lot, so we'll do that. For the spoiler, we do have a few different options, and some of these are really good looking. In my opinion, I think that the primary drag wing looks super awesome, so we're going to go for that. Uh, of course, we have the crazy race wing and stuff like that, but I, I think this looks actually pretty realistic, and I like the look of it. For the suspension, we can absolutely slam this thing down to the ground. I'm going to keep it a little bit raised, because the last time that I drove this thing, the suspension, I think, played a part in it so let's just say that for the transmission we are going to go all the way up on that of course for the turbo we got to go all the way up as well for the wheels i am going to go for some off-road wheels because this thing is going to need some grip uh from my last time driving it uh, i i can tell you that uh for the wheel color i think we'll go black if not maybe stone silver yeah, I feel like the black looks better. Let's go for black. Um, for the tires, of course, we are going to go bulletproof on those for sure. And for the windows, we are going to tint these all the way out. This thing's looking uh, actually better than my first customization, so I like the look of it. Let's take it outside. It's time to do a sound test and, of course, a full review on the car. All right, so here we are outside. Let's take a listen to what the BF Weevil sounds like. I guess the car didn't want to go the uh, the original way that I intended to go, so that's fine. Uh, the BF Weevil. Now, I drove this thing with the suspension all the way slammed down to the ground, and so far, I think that uh, I think that the way of doing this might not be to slam it all the way to the ground. Um, the steering became extremely unresponsive when I uh, when I slammed this thing. However, the rear end did grip up a little bit better. So if you guys are setting this up for yourselves, definitely you're going to want the suspension lower. But I don't think the lowest setting is maybe the best. Um, I could be wrong. It's uh, obviously up to you guys. Whatever you do with your cars, but uh, that is my suggestion. Now the BF Weevil Custom. Uh, it is a very expensive vehicle. Nine. $180,000 just for the upgrade and then the vehicle itself is on sale this week for I think $520,000 roughly and uh, when it's regular price I believe it's somewhere close to 900 so you're looking at like 1.8 million dollars uh, to fully you know to buy this car and to upgrade it into the Benny's version and then you're looking at even more money to actually customize it now is it worth it I personally don't think so um, obviously if you guys are Weevil fanatics if you love the Weevil if you've been waiting for this to come out definitely buy it if you're wanting to collect all the vehicles from the criminal enterprises dlc definitely buy it but i think for the average person in gta this is a car that you're probably going to want to skip over it's a, it's not that good it is really really cool i can't deny that i do like a lot of the customization that you can do to this thing i think it's generally actually a pretty good looking vehicle as well i do i do kind of appreciate how this thing looks uh, so that is good obviously but as far as money goes, I think that it's too much money for what you actually get. Um, in my opinion, at least. Obviously, you guys are allowed to disagree, but that is, of course, my opinion. Uh, the handling is not nearly as good as it should be, I feel like, especially for the price. I wouldn't have expected this thing to handle very well, but... Um, you know it, it handles about as well as i would have expected i guess uh acceleration wise this thing is quite good actually i think that it accelerates very hard and the top speed itself is actually pretty good as well it's uh, it's not too slow but it's not exactly the best ever that's for sure and it's definitely not 1.8 million dollars worth of acceleration or top speed in my opinion so uh, there you have it guys that's pretty much it for the bf weevil custom in grand theft auto online obviously if there's anything that i missed let me know in the comments down below but i think that i've pretty much covered it if you guys enjoyed this video if you learned something about the bf weevil custom a like is of course appreciated if not dislike subscribe if you guys are new and i will see you all in the next video until then take care peace